Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome to you as well. My name is Jennifer and this is my channel. This is going to be a thank you vlog, a random vlog, a chatty vlog. I don't know what all is going to be in here, but I do know that I'm going to update you on a couple things and first I'm going to say a big thank you. So let's get started and see where this vlog takes us, shall we? It is a beautiful day outside, so I'm, I'm gonna go outside. Maybe I'll take you guys out with me to see what's going on in the outside world. It's currently 3.30 in the afternoon on Tuesday, and you'll see this video on Wednesday morning. So first of all, I wanna say a huge thank you. I got the biggest surprise yesterday. First of all, I wasn't expecting mail on Monday because it was a holiday. And second of all, I wasn't expecting anything at all. And I had a knock at my door and I was like, hmm, wonder who that is. And then my neighbor texted me and she's like, you have a box at your door. I'm like, oh, I wasn't expecting anything. So when I opened the door, I found this big box. And from Amazon. And I was blown away because, like I said, I was not expecting anything. And this, turns out, is from one of my viewers, and I am so tickled and flattered and grateful and blown away. This is from Maggie, and Maggie sent this to me for my birthday. So thank you very much, Maggie. I... I cannot even put into words how excited I am. I had these things on my wish list and I forgot about them. And I was like, how did she know that this is what I wanted? And then I realized they were on my wish list. But this is like the perfect thing because I've been wanting these forever. It's just I never think to buy them for myself or it's I need something else before this and I just don't get it. So this is perfect. Thank you so much, Maggie. Let me show you what Maggie got me. She got me so I can save the turtles reusable straws. I had saw these and I wanted to get some because we all know that plastic straws are not good for the environment. And I am trying to be more environmentally conscious these days. I have been doing very much, very much better, a lot better with my water conservation and I have not been letting the water run. So that is definitely a good thing for the environment, but these are definitely good because I think it isn't sea turtles that swallow the straws and they die. I don't know, but it's not good for the environment. It's not good for the sea turtles. I think it's the turtles. So this is a set of tumbler straws. There's 12 of them. There is eight and a half inches for 20 ounce cups and 10 and a half inches for 30 ounce cups. So isn't that cool? And they come in their own little reusable bag. Let me show you what they look like. I am so excited to use this. In fact, I'm going to use it this afternoon for my iced coffee. And there is straight ones and bent ones. And it even comes with two of the brush cleaners so I can clean them. So that is just so cool and I cannot like, wait to use them. Like I said, I'm gonna use them this afternoon. I'm getting ready to go. I don't, oh no, I'm not gonna go play cards, but I am gonna have iced coffee because I did brew myself some coffee this morning. So I'm gonna have my iced coffee and use my reusable straws. I cannot wait for that. So thank you so much, Maggie. And this second thing is so cool and I cannot wait to use this. I'm going to wash it this evening and put it on my bed tonight. I cannot wait. When I saw this, I was like, how did she know that I wanted this? I was like so blown away because I didn't put two and two together. And I was like, this is so pretty. And I've been wanting this forever because it's just amazingly beautiful. It's black and white striped. It's a duvet cover for my comforter for my bed. It is so pretty because I want to do my bedroom in black and white. I don't really have a color scheme right now, but 
I've been wanting to do it in black and white. My bathroom is black and white, and I just, I love black and white together. So I'm definitely going to start doing my bedroom in black and white now that I have the main piece that I needed for my bedroom to be black and white. So thank you so much, Maggie. I love this. It's perfect, and I will show you once I get it on my bed. I will not in this vlog because I already have it um, edited and everything, but maybe tomorrow's vlog or the next day be watching because I'll show you what it looks like after I get it on my bed and on my comforter. I am so excited and it's a perfect time of the year because I'm just now starting to use my comforter again because it's getting quite cold now in my neck of the woods. So thank you so much. I appreciate this so much and for thinking of me at my birthday time. That was so nice of you. I also want to say a very big thank you to everyone who left so many overwhelmingly sweet and encouraging comments on my video on Sunday when I posted the video about feeling discouraged and down. Your sweet words and encouraging words meant so much to me and I cannot even say thank you enough. Saying thank you doesn't even seem like enough and sometimes when I say thank you so much, I think it's overkill, but I want you guys to know how much I appreciate you. I don't take you guys for granted whatsoever and I read those comments when I am feeling down and I read your words and it means so much to me. I also got quite a few DMs and emails and I haven't been able to respond to all of those yet either, but I am working on it. And thank you guys so much for reaching out to me and helping me stay on track and keep me from getting discouraged. Like I've said many, many times, my journey is not a perfect one. It will never be a perfect one. I fall off, I do bad things, I binge, but I am mainly on track and I am moving forward and that is all that I can ask for in my life and that is plenty okay with me. I know there are people out there who do much better than me and are able to stay on track and I'm sure if I pushed myself harder I could stay on track as well better than I do. Um, but I'm okay with not being perfect and so hard on myself. I'm okay with falling off every once in a while because that's life. If I were to be super strict with myself, I know that would be setting myself up for failure because I'm always, in the back of my mind, I'm always in the mindset of if I can't be perfect, I don't wanna do anything. And I'm trying to get out of that mindset. I have been that way my entire life, which is why I haven't done a lot of things because I know I'm not gonna ever be perfect at doing certain things and there's nothing in particular that I'm talking about at the moment. But because of my inability to be perfect, I don't even try. There is one example that I think I've shared before. When I was going to college a few years ago, I was taking a math class and I missed getting an A or missed getting, I don't, I can't remember if it was an A. I know I think I got an A, but it was, I missed getting a perfect score by one point. Just one little point I missed. And it just tore me up. I cried and cried and cried. And one of my friends was like, you're seriously crying over one point. She actually failed the class. But um, just, it, it felt like in my mind, I have been so used to failure in my life. And not being able to reach goals that I set for myself and I get so hard on myself that when I don't do something well, I think all these bad negative thoughts of myself. So I try not to think you have to do this, you have to be perfect, you have to, you have to, you have to. I just kind of let myself go and focus on doing the right things. And that's not giving myself an excuse to binge or to, fall off the wagon or gain weight or anything like that. It's just being realistic that life happens and as long as I am trying, as long as I am moving forward and not staying stuck and not going backwards, I'm okay with that. I know that some people probably don't agree with that mindset and probably it's not the best mindset to have, but the therapist that I'm working with agrees with what I my mindset and she said that that is a very healthy way to look at things for now in the future as I continue to get better to emotionally get better and 
not think so negatively of myself and be able to accept life on life's terms a little bit better. I probably won't always feel that way and maybe I will be able to feel okay with getting a little tougher on myself. But I'm growing, I'm learning, and for now this is how I feel comfortable and what works for me. So I appreciate you guys sticking in there with me and being there for me. It means a lot to me. I am always my own worst critic and I am harder on myself than anybody else. I put myself down more than anybody else could. I think I've mentioned this in another video. There is absolutely nothing that anybody else could say to me that would hurt my feelings any more than as hard and hurtful as I am to myself. So I'm trying to not be so hard on myself and be more accepting and loving to myself. I think self-care is one of the more important things in life and it's not just all about weight or all about one thing it's becoming healthy as a person as a whole so and weight is definitely included in there because I need to be healthy because you only get one body and you only get one life to live and if you're not healthy nothing else is gonna matter so it all kind of fits together like a puzzle piece and I hope that I'm not rambling I am rambling so I'm gonna shush and I'm going to take you guys outside and we'll see what's going on out there and I'll maybe get some clips from out there and then I'll come back in and we'll talk about something else or I'll show you what I'm gonna have for lunch or I don't know we'll find something to do in a little bit but hang on and I'll be back so the next clip that you're about to see is the awkwardness of the week and you're going to see me walking and exercising. I had said last week that I was going to make it a point to insert more clips that make me feel awkward, so I feel less awkward. Um, I've been exercising, walking, that's my exercise, I call it. I've been doing eight little laps in the morning and eight little laps in the evening for the past week. And today I just did six this evening. I think I recorded all six, I'm not sure. But I only did six this evening because I had helped a woman. She had actually fallen in the hallway. She was taking a big shelf to the garbage and it collapsed on her and she fell and she was able to get up but I told her to just leave the shelf, the collapsed shelf there and I would put it in the trash for her. And it was pretty heavy. So that was a little bit of a workout so I deducted two little laps for that. So you'll see the rest of my little laps after this, my uncomfortableness of the week. And as you can see, this vlog is all over the place. I had planned on getting some clips this afternoon coming outside in the sun, but it was a madhouse down here. There was a bunch of people outside and a bunch going on inside, and I just didn't want to get in the way, and it was too chaotic. So we're going to show you this clip, and then probably later I'm gonna do some laundry, and we'll have a little chit chat in the middle of the night outside. So. Here's my awkwardness. Enjoy. All right, we are now at dinner time, and this, I'm telling you, this vlog is all over the place. It really isn't a follow me around, but it's kind of a, uh, this is what I'm doing today. So, it's, like I said, it's eight o'clock, time for dinner, and one of my subscribers and my friends on, U on YouTube and on Facebook posted this and tagged me in it on Facebook, it is a new kind of a truffle recipe and I'm really excited to try it. There is no mozzarella cheese involved in it whatsoever. So first of all it calls for two tablespoons of melted cream cheese which I went ahead and I melted. 
Next, it calls for, you have to excuse my mess. I have bags of pork rinds piled up here. I have some chicken over here that I'm gonna prep for tomorrow. So got a lot going on, so just kind of focus on here for right now. So it calls for two tablespoons of cream cheese, which I softened or melted, whichever. And next we're gonna add two egg whites. So we'll do the egg white. Two egg whites. Next is two teaspoons of water, and I have my half a teaspoon, so I'm going to do four of the halves. One, two, three, four. A quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder. And lastly, it said a pinch of salt or garlic salt. I don't have garlic salt. I have garlic powder, so I'm going to add some of my pink salt. Followed by some garlic powder. And then it says just to whisk all this up. Oh! I forgot the main ingredient. <laughs> now we know why my recipes don't turn out really well. I'm gonna do a quarter of a cup of almond flour. I'm getting low on almond flour. I need to reorder soon. Now that I have my batter all whisked up, you just whisk it until it's smooth. And we're going to put this on our waffle, our truffle iron. And we're gonna do two truffles out of this, so half and half. And I will let you watch as it bakes. I just sprayed it with a little bit of olive oil to make sure it won't stick. And then we're going to go ahead and do half of the batter onto the iron. Oh, that looks nice. I think my truffle maker must be smaller than the one in the that they used in the recipe because um, I definitely have more to make than just two. So. This one is definitely going to run over. I'm afraid to close the lid, guys. All right, here goes nothing. All right, you guys keep an eye on this until I go to the bathroom. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm back. It didn't explode too much. Just a little bit.
These seem a lot more fluffier than the ones with mozzarella and the whole egg. I'll give that one a couple more minutes while I fix my drink and get a plate and then we'll have a little uh, monkey bong kind of situation. Alright, the recipe says it makes two, but I got three out of mine. You could probably even get four out of this tiny little dash iron. So if you have a bigger one, you could probably get two, but I got three. So I'm going to pause for a minute, clean up my little area here, make my truffle sandwich, and I'll be right back with you guys. I have this with ice water. I'm gonna use my new sippy sippy straw. And I have this great value strawberry lemonade. It's like the water, it's like the Mio, the generic. Well, I guess it's not generic, it's just the great value brand. So I'm gonna squirt that in there. That is the weirdest sensation drinking out of a stainless steel straw. I love it. All right, here's my truffle sandwich. So we have a truffle, a slice of provolone, a serving which is an ounce or is it two ounces? I don't know. I didn't weigh it and I didn't measure it, so I'm just guessing. Just being honest. Of turkey, it's the pepper crusted turkey, and then two slices of bacon that I just cut in half to make four halves and then another slice of provolone and Duke's mayo which I also did not measure we're just winging it today all right I'm going to try this and let you guys know what I think of this new chocolate recipe this feels more like a bread instead of the oops I'm moving you guys the truffles that I have been making with the mozzarella cheese, they were more crispy, but this is more soft and kind of bread-like. Let's try it. Oh, this is good. This definitely tastes like bread, like white bread. definitely a lot better than the other. I don't know if you guys can see, it actually looks like bread. That is really good. If I remember correctly, I will leave the link for the recipe as well as the ingredients in the description below. And like I said, I didn't find this my friend Terry shared this with me, and as soon as I saw it, I was like, it's dinner time. I'm going to try it tonight. Um, and if I'm remembering correctly, there's 149 calories and 2 grams of carbs 
for two truffles. I'm pretty sure. I'll have to look and I'll leave that in the description below, but I think that's what I saw. Definitely really good. I like this a lot better than the mozzarella cheese truffles. Alright, I'm not going to eat the rest of this on camera. It's a little awkward because I feel like I have to do this. The thing on the roof of my mouth is still bothering me. It hurts when I eat, so I'm chewing funny. So I'm going to go chew my food and eat my dinner. And then I'll catch you guys back in a little while when I do laundry and we'll have another little chit chat before I end my vlog for the day. See you guys back in a little bit. So it's 1140 at night and I'm doing my laundry. It's not very interesting. It's kind of cold out so I'm not going to be out here for very long. I just wanted to kind of make an end to my vlog and tell you guys thanks for hanging out with me today. It wasn't too interesting but I think the truffle recipe was pretty interesting. I think that was worth watching. Um, a little self-conscious of the whole walk-in exercising thing. But that's the whole point of putting in the awkward clips so I'll get more comfortable in doing so. So There's still quite a few people roaming around here coming out for their last smokes before the night. Um, I think I'm the only one doing laundry right now. So my clothes are currently in the washer. I'm going to get ready to put them in the dryer. And then as soon as I get them in the dryer, then I will go upstairs to my apartment and wait for them to dry and edit this video and get it ready to upload so then I can publish it tomorrow morning. Um, I The only thing else I wanted to say was that... People don't realize how stubborn I am. I'm stubborn to a fault. I'm a true Scorpio. When someone says I can't do something, I will do whatever it is in my power to make it happen because I am that stubborn and I have that kind of an attitude. When you tell me I can't do it, I will do it and I will be the best at it. So. I'm not going to go into details, but I saw something today and pretty much telling me I couldn't do something and um, I'm going to do it now. That's just giving me more motivation to do better. So I feel good now. Now I have motivation. I have the motivation back that I was losing. So that's it when in a few months I'll let you guys know and in the appropriate time I'll tell you but it's all good trust me it's all good and I think it was a blessing even though it didn't seem like a blessing it ended up being a blessing I will find this clip when I'm ready to tell you guys I will play the clip back I will show you what I'm talking about and I will show you the results of what I'm talking about just stay tuned so it's Wednesday when you guys are watching this it's Tuesday evening for me on Thursday we will have an ipsy upload of what I got in my ipsy bag Friday is viewer comments so make sure if there's a comment that you want me to read or some question that you want me to address to leave the comments so when I film that video probably tomorrow that I will get to that video or that question actually I know I'm rambling at this point because I'm bored and I'm just talking 
I don't have anything planned for the weekend, although I might make a recipe tomorrow, another recipe, to see if it turns out. It's a keto recipe, of course. Um, so that's about it. And then Monday, I will definitely be doing another Mystery Monday, Weird Monday. You guys really liked that, and I was so tickled that you liked it because I wasn't sure if it was gonna go over very well, but I'm so glad that so many of you liked it, and I have a really creepy one in mind, so stay tuned for that on Monday. All right, guys, I'm gonna end this here. I'm going to wait for my laundry to finish, switch it over, and then go edit this video. I hope you guys are having a good week and I will see you tomorrow. Remember everyone, be the love, be the light, and do good things. Bye everyone.